What's done in the dark will always come to light. Todrick Hall is facing serious allegations by a former personal assistant. Let's talk about it. Yo, what's up? I'm Jaded Nerd, and I wanted to talk to y'all about the Todrick Hall situation that is trending on Twitter. And it's not about his music. A former personal assistant with the Twitter name at Tommy underscore Italiano has come forward and is dropping all types of tea and is letting everything be known about what it's like to work for Todrick and how it is where he's been accused of colorism. He's being accused of, you know, being complacent when it comes to people being sexually assaulted and when people bring it up, retaliating against them. Um, online bullying, not paying people for their creative work, and then, again, retaliating against them when they try to speak up about it. So a lot of these allegations are serious, unfounded as yet, but very serious in nature, and I wanted to talk to y'all about it today. To be transparent, I'm a fan of Todrick Hall. I've been following his music, his career, his artistry for a few years now. I'm a big fan when he posts something to YouTube because I believe that visually he has a gift and a way of, of presenting things and, and taking those images and ideas that, that are in his head. He makes them come out and we all get to enjoy it. And he's supremely talented in that regard. But I don't want my hero worship in a sense to, 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 to blind me if this is a situation where these allegations are true. The personal assistant is being very adamant that he has proof, that he has receipts. And if you go to his Twitter account, you will see posts and screenshots where there are you know, links to, to lawsuits or there were settlements for things that have happened where someone was able to bring action against Todrick Hall allegedly. There are people that are actually coming out and there are threads on these Twitter accounts. There's people that have danced with Todrick Hall allegedly and they were describing how people weren't paid and they were describing how it was to be one of two people of color on different sets and his attitude towards that. There's even a post by Perez Hilton where Todrick Hall has said, there are too many people behind me that are dark. Can we get some light-skinned people behind me? So these things are, are deep-rooted and they're deep-seated issues within the entertainment industry and within our culture. And when you're trying to get to a place where people can be hired for their talent and on their merit, and, and we're trying to strive toward that and move away from people being hired purely on aesthetic and then thinking that a standard of beauty is a Eurocentric standard and all other standards of beauty are subpar. We're fighting this fight and you have someone as influential as Tadra Call allegedly contributing to the colorism that we see and that we know was running rampant within the entertainment industry where people who are darker skinned don't get the same breaks as people who are light skinned. And that's truly sad. It's also sad because if these allegations are true, he's perpetuating this whole culture where people with power and status can do what they want to do. So if somebody wants to violate somebody's personal space or touch them inappropriately and people are complacent and complicit in those acts, then that just keeps it going. So it isn't something that just affects women. Me too affects men as well. And you would think somebody with a platform as large as Tarja Call would not want to contribute to that culture, that culture that we're working so hard to annihilate so that people aren't harassed at work and people aren't placed in situations where they're having unwanted advances placed upon them by people who deem themselves more powerful. So it's definitely a lot to filter through. There's a lot to go through because there are so many screenshots from this Twitter account and some other things and some other threads that I was able to get for y'all. I'm just gonna post the screenshots and let y'all read everything that Tommy underscore Italiano has to say as a former personal assistant, everything that he's alleging, um, everything that this former dancer or choreographer is alleging in terms of her dealings with this situation. So y'all can check these screenshots out. You can follow the Twitter accounts yourselves, see the posts, see the threads. So after checking out these screenshots and everything, I want y'all to leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know what you think about this. Do you think that this is a situation where 
Todrick is being set up and someone waited until he was at the height of his career to try to bring these allegations. There are people who are responding and saying that the timing doesn't seem right. And that if this individual had these concerns at the time that these things happened, why did he wait so long to voice his concerns when he could have said something and these things could have been addressed a lot sooner. And if you think there is truth to these allegations and the screenshots and tweets that you've seen in the video, put in the comment section why you think so. I'd love to hear what all of y'all have to say about this. If you can, please throw a like on the video, subscribe and share. It's greatly appreciated. I'm Jaded Nerd. I'll talk to y'all next time. Thank <laughs> you.